Hey, it's another Coffee Friday. Can you believe it? I can't. I Cheers. wait all week for this, don't I, you? I, I kind of do. Yeah, actually. yeah. Yeah, and so we support local coffee. I mean, that's what really this is well, all about. I, I always, and you yeah. know, you know, people will ask me like, you know, you know, why don't I you go to Starbucks or something? And you know, sure. on, on occasion, you know, maybe if I'm on on, on the road sure. or something, sure, sure. and I can't find anything local, sure, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll, I can stop by. But you know, almost everything that I've ever done, career wise, right. has been in support of local. local. Yeah, and I coffee know. is a great way yeah. to support the local economy. Well, um, you know, usually uh, local coffee places are a little more sensitive to how coffee is grown, right, how right. the growers are treated, right, things right. like that. Yeah, so, they're supporting uh, local coffee, they're supporting farmers, they're supporting, you know, it's a little more support. Starbucks, you go into one Starbucks, right? And it's <coughs> just like the other Starbucks you were just in. Yep. And it's right across the street from that Starbucks, so it's hard to decide which Starbucks you really need <laughs> you to know, go into. Yeah, that is kind of funny. I think that's one thing that I, 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 I love to support is like every once in a while you'll see like, you know, a, a, a coffee shop and then across the street or a right. kitty corner is a Starbucks. Like, you know the Starbucks just went in to try to destroy <laughs> this local business. And I'm like, right. you gotta be kidding. And, and that's me, right to the other side of the street. Go to the regular, go to the now, coffee shop. Now a story I heard, and maybe somebody that works at a coffee shop can tell us is if a Starbucks uh, moves within like a block or a couple blocks, that your coffee business actually goes up. I would like to hear if that's really true or if that I, was just some kind know, of fiction. I, I would love to hear that true. I could actually see that, like, if you're the line is too long at a Starbucks, which right. you know it definitely could be, right. uh, you might just go across the street yeah. to someplace else. Yeah. But uh, well, tell know, everybody where we are today. Oh, we are we at deep. well. Right now we're in kind of a weird place, but right you know, we're actually right next door to Station to 38, 38 Coffee, Coffee in East Sacramento. Right on J and 38th. I guess that's why they call it uh, Station 38. Station 38. And uh, uh, first time I've been here, uh, you said that you checked it out over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been here actually a couple of times now, and the coffee's really good. They actually have good food as well. Right. Uh, but, you know, this is a popular East uh, Sac hangout. Right. So right. if you're coming in for food, be prepared to wait a little while. But uh, mm -hmm. it's yeah. really not bad. And everybody here is just a you know, Yeah. Same super nice, yeah. very friendly, and again, support small business. Well, we like to support small business. That's kind of what my gig is all about, local business and everything with Rex on the road. And then we have the national radio show where we, we talk yes. about some of those things, but uh, we talk about a little bit of everything. If you got that iHeartRadio app, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. In fact, I'm going to ask you to do me two favors. Can we ask for two favors? You can always ask. Okay. One, I need you to send me an email to the radio station so I can play a song for you. And that email is that70schannel at live365.com. Yeah. Okay. That70schannel at live365.com. And put attention T-Rex, because that's what I say there. Anything else, like a uh, blood sample or anything? Yeah. That, no, that's no. That's very involved. Then, you know, listen to the iHeartRadio app. Go under oldies and search for that 70s channel. And then after 10 at night on the West Coast, I'm on the air, and one in the morning on the East Coast. So that means nobody hears Wait, wait, me. wait, when did 70s music become oldies music? Well, uh, probably some time ago, my friend. You know, it, 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 when you became gray, it became oldies. I became gray And a long when time I became ago. gray, it was already oldies. But I mean, so, you know, check it out if you get the chance. It's a fun little radio show. Send me an email and we'll talk about you on the air. Uh, you know, and of course you can get a hold of me on all the social media outlets. Yeah, that, uh, an email right. seems like a lot of work, but a comment down below, right. please send that. If you yeah. have the iHeartRadio app, yeah. add him on. Right. If you don't have the app, get the app. the app. Yeah, yeah, and, and there's tons on. of things to listen to on iHeartRadio. Yeah, I'm yeah. just like, so whatever you like, you know, whatever you like. I like clicking on the 80s stations because I'm an 80s fan. No, so not the 70s stations? I, you know, I, I like the 70s, but but my, my idol and my legend died in 77. So Aww. the 70s kind of ended for me when Elvis passed on. He died in 77? Yeah. August 16th, 1977. 1977. Yeah, it's a tough time. Yeah, You're an Elvis fan. I'm a huge Elvis fan. Yeah. Actually, Elvis was one of the first albums. I, I, it was the first me album too. I ever me bought me on my own. Me too. It was the Which album? Uh, it was the concert. Uh, it was the comeback special. Okay. I didn't know it at the time. He just had this really, like really cool outfit on. <laughs> you know, it was all sort of glittery the leather and, everything. and everything. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was the cheapest one because it was the uh, it was a live right. album. 
and for whatever reason, it was less expensive the comeback than the, the comeback right. special. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I had that album for okay. a very, very long time. Okay. I won a, a radio station contest. Yeah. In, in Chico, California, because that's where I grew up, and uh, you know I got a, a gift certificate to go to the, you know whatever record store it was. Yeah. And and so the Elvis album I bought, I think I bought Flaming Star before that on cassette. And then I got the Madison Square Garden 72 concert. Oh, no, that's good set. too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, to me that was an incredible performance because it's not too much longer after that that Elvis kind of starts going a little downhill. Yeah, yeah, a little rough, little medications. Little well, bit that's too much what I there. heard Dr. Nick said. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so so uh, also, let's, even if it's not an Elvis album, in the comments below, first what album. was the first album you bought? Uh, bonus points if it was actually on vinyl. Yeah, and I think, what format did you get it in? I got it on an eight track. Yeah. I got it on a cassette. I got it on, on vinyl. And, uh, of course, he, he used to work for Tower Records. I, yeah, way back yeah. in the day, I worked for Tower Records, and so there's so much music. You know, music's right. been part of my life ever, you know, ever since I was a kid. But sure. certainly, uh, if anybody knows, talk about dating me right now. Sure. Mid-90s, the yeah. Sacramento music scene. Yeah. Wow. It was on fire. It was on fire. Everything it was. from Tesla to cake. I and mean, yeah. there was like yeah. Sacramento had a sound all of a sudden. Right. It was really cool. An alternative scene kind of really emerged. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah, in Sacramento in the mid 90s. And, uh, you know, I was on the radio somewhere. I, I'm you know, sure I, you heard. I don't know where. <coughs> I don't know where, but I know, uh, well, the mid 90s, let's see. Should I should I count down to yeah, radio? Yeah, yeah, let's Arrow do it. 108. I was on Arrow 108, Cool 101, or uh, Cahill, I think at the time. Uh, quad 106 uh, here in town uh, and in San Francisco, KFRC. Wait, you were on Quad? Yeah, I was on Quad. I used to love that station. Yeah, that was the oh, first yeah. big station I was able oh, yeah? to, yeah, they, they let me be on the air uh, doing like weekend over. That was a really yeah. interesting yeah. station because they were an independent station. Yeah, more than any yeah. People. They weren't part of a, right. a big conglomerate. Yeah. They used to do really cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. A quad lot was of a local influence. Oh, too. totally. Like, yeah. Really promoting the, the local scene, oh. not yeah. just like well, they were, Sunday from right. ten to eleven. It was. It was yeah, they were all a top. The 40, they were a top forty station, and you had uh, FM one hundred and two, and you had uh, what Croy, I think, at the time was doing top forty. And Boy. but I mean, at that time, one every radio station was owned by like one single owner. It, was, yeah. it wasn't a corporation, and so there was like sixteen different radio stations that really kind of had their own thing because they were all privately owned. Yeah, you that's know? really cool. We wouldn't see that today, my No, friend. we don't see that. You know where you have to go to find <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. Like our heart radio or... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and or the, Spotify or, you know, people Conglomerate. Putting, conglomerate radio. Conglomerate all the time. corporate rock still yeah, sucks. Yeah, yeah. it does. It does. That was actually one of my favorite shirts when I worked at Tower. Nice. Corporate rock still sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, back in those days, what we thought corporate rock was or corporate yeah, music it, now, now would be like... You know, then it was it's like, whoa, they're owned by... Uh, you yeah. would, actually, you wouldn't even know that it was. I think now that's one of the great things about, mm -hmm. you know, the advent of the, inter uh, of the internet. That, mm -hmm. You know, you can explore all sorts of different types of music from all over. You know, yeah, one thing I want to say is, is I think the real fun radio that's being done today mm -hmm. is like these internet stations. Yeah, that absolutely. Somebody decides they want to do a, a format, an 80s format, a 90s format. Or maybe or it's whatever. not even like really a format. I mean, it's, yeah, you know, yeah. they, they, they just play whatever they want. Well, and yeah, yeah, free form. You free know, form it's, and, it's always you know, good. I think those are the guys that I listen to. Is sure. yes, I love the music, but right. I'm more a fan of the personality right. Right. that is unfiltered by now. That's always a been corporate the, decision. Yeah, that's always been the strength of radio. Yeah. I mean, uh, the the problem I have is. As I was growing up, as I was doing radio and stuff, there was always like great radio personalities on, and you were like, "Wow, I love hearing this guy on the air because he just has such a unique take." Yeah, yeah. Right on things, and you know he's uh, and and you don't hear that anymore. And I liked the morning shows in the '80s because they mm -hmm. do parody songs. They would, you know, have characters on, you yeah. know, and stuff, and you just don't hear that anymore. I mean, you know, I mean, well, they, certainly not from terrestrial radio. You right. Know? You yeah. really do have to find the cool shows on like iHeartRadio or or yeah. the internet or yeah. Spotify or podcasts. Pandora, yeah. Or podcasts. Yeah, 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 podcasts are more of a free form of that, you know, you yeah. can do anything on a podcast. Well, let's give these guys a mention again because yeah, yeah. we support local Absolutely. coffee. And uh, Station 38 Coffee, 38th and Jerry, 
in East Sacramento, and, and Jeremy uh, found this spot again. Yeah. So, uh, and also, thank you. if again, if I'm missing something, please right. let me know. You, let me know about your favorite coffee place you'd like us to go to. And we'll go check it out. Yeah. And, and do us a favor, share this because I mean, these are local coffee shops. These, these are, are local coffee shops. Yeah. Shop, and so you know, let everybody know. Hey, this is a local coffee shop. And, and so if you can share it, that would be great. We really appreciate that. And as always, support local. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Have, uh, happy Coffee Friday. Have a Coffee Friday.